All right. Question of the day is, does this work? Let's see. Um, I have some updates I want to make to my player queue. Um, I have a YouTube version of the player queue that I'm working on. Um, it is kind of far behind the Twitch version just because streamer bot integration between the YouTube API has restrictions and then the um, streamer bot <clears throat> implementation of that YouTube API is <laughs> dependent on that. So um, let me see, is this actually working live? Okay. <clears throat> I don't go live very often on here. I have um, just tinkering generally. Uh, let me drop a link. Try to remember how to do that in my Discord. Hey, calm down. Um, I have a request. Um, I have a request to update this, so we shall do that. Uh, don't need this up. I was checking out some of the new stuff in um, the change logs for YouTube. Um, I know there was a YouTube-based events have a broadcast ID now. Um, the very basic thing I need to do, let's test, um, add player, add me, does add me work in YouTube? I don't remember. Is Streamerbot connected at all? Three maps, platforms, YouTube count oh it's not con connected that is the problem all right <clears throat> auto connect uh okay let's try that again <clears throat> add me you can do the thing there streamer bot player is already in the queue players in queue two one test two flare okay so the one thing i wanted there's two things i want to add real quick here i also have a separate request i'm going to get to in a minute um but the main thing i want to do is uh strip so i have it so that you can do add me add player at whoever and since the youtube api doesn't have like an add info thing it doesn't do any vetting to what you type here so since you can do you can type whatever you want if people use an at i want it to strip that at off when they <clears throat> you know when they uh add someone in that way so what i want to do real quick is um look at how to do that real quick and i am not i'm not a c-sharp expert i'm a total noob at c-sharp streamer bot is the only reason i've ever used it so i'm very 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 fresh with c-sharp so what i want to do is check the first character and i'm pretty sure i can just do like a substring thing so like um, in add me and add, okay, add player is where I need it. I can say, uh, first equals, I can probably just do if play player dot sub string zero one. So much of the stuff in C sharp is very familiar, even though I haven't used it, so it's, Familiar to every other language. Players at substring equals 
at and player equals let's see c sharp strip i don't know if there's like a i could probably use substring again i could do player equals player dot substring one and then player dot Length minus one. Compile. Um. Let's see. Sharp remove first character. Probably the fast. Oh, is like trim start data remove. Let's see. Ah, uh, can I do like a dot net core kind of thing like player one this file uh, no system dot range index. Um, let's go back to the other way. Ah, thing length. Yo, cat it. What's up? How's it going? I am uh, not used to watching YouTube chat, so I forgive me if I miss chats. I'm totally not used to streaming here, but one of my biggest beefs with streaming on YouTube is that I can't test chat integration stuff unless I'm live. Whereas with Twitch, I can, um, I can, I can just, I can use the chat even when my stream is offline. But with YouTube, you cannot. I guess I can technically create a broadcast and not stream. And then still fiddle with chat. Maybe I should test that sometime. But um, because you can create a broadcast that's like scheduled for later, and then cancel it. I don't know. Maybe I could I could do that. But this is fun anyway. Plus, it gets me a little bit. It's another thing up on my YouTube channel, and that's fine with me as well. Um, I think I want. String dot thing or something like this, but I'm not sure. I am super. Let's see, can I turn follow off? Follow, yeah, okay. <clears throat> um, C sharp string length. Should be just dot length or something. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, just length without the brackets or without the. There it is. It's going to be minus one. Okay, so if I try that now and I do add player. Add player crazy cat. Hey, it works. Okay. So it strips off the at, no problem. And then if I do add player, player with no at, it should just add that as is. Perfect. Okay, and then the last thing, the other thing I want to do, um, and stream robot may go crazy because I'm gonna I'm gonna load my other instance real quick just to copy and paste it out to Sublime to see what I did there. I have two kind of competing versions of yeah 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 yeah. 
two competing versions of these um this action one specifically for youtube and one for twitch i tried to make it so that it would like at first i tried to make it so that it detected which platform you're using and it just it turned into like a big old quagmire um player So I did some code for printing show players where, let me just copy this whole thing off so I can reference it and then I close this extra instance of streamer button. Oh boy. So what I want, YouTube only allows you to send a message that's 200 characters long. So while I am showing players, show players method, here we go. I want to, I added a bunch of other stuff. Player count, player queue. <clears throat> so the player string starts as nothing right here. While I'm looping here, I want to say if player string dot length g t h good old gotta love typing live player string dot length is greater than equal to let's see. I have extra characters here. I need one, two, and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Let's call it twenty-five. Player string that length is greater than or equal to one seventy-five. That gives us a little buffer. <clears throat> so there's this part of the string that prints before the actual player string goes. Um. So I need to leave room for that within that 200 character message limit. So I'll just call it 25 characters. If player string that length is greater than or equal to 175, which is the 200 minus 25. So if we're over the limit, then Instead of adding the next player that we're iterating through to the string, we just want to say player string Oh wait, if it's not over it, then we want to do that. Then we just add them like normal. Otherwise, Player string equals or add to the player string the and extra players others. Actually, let me just keep it really short for YouTube and then do plus. Keep it really short. With Twitch, I have 500 characters to mess with, so I can be a little bit more verbose. So this is going to be one character plus, maybe a little, let's give it a room for four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's take another seven off of here. So that'll bring us down to 68, 168. Okie dokie. So if it exceeds that. Then we need to know how many extra players there are. Int extra players equals player count minus j. Extra players. Yeah, 200 characters is not a lot. It's like less than a tweet. Well, I remember when tweets used to be 144 characters, though, when it was, it was new. Ish, newish. And I knew a developer that was building 
games for Twitter way back in like 2011. And it was a nightmare. And then break player stream. Otherwise, just add them like normal. The name J does not. Oh, it's I here. Oops. I. Compile. That's it. Okay. Test it. So we want to keep adding until really long player name. Add player. This is another long name. Add player Joe. Add player Bob. Add player. Christopher, which is actually a long name, it's 10 characters for Christopher. At some point, it's going to say that's enough characters. Add player Ringo. Fred. Bingo. Bingo, Ringo, and Fred. Add player. There we go. So I added bingo and it didn't go, but it's it incremented the number that says players in queue and then it says plus one at the end. Add player Harris. So that should go up to 13 and then it should go to plus two at the end. Beautiful. We are done. All right, that was really, really easy. So I have one more request from 360 Game TV to do something very similar. I'm gonna make a whole new action to test it. Um, and he's doing this thing where he's pulling down a URL from Destiny and printing it to his chat, but it's running over the 200 character limit. So it's gonna be very, very similar to this. I'm just gonna take it real quick, let's see. Okay, here, copy, I'm going to say, um, this is, it's like pulling down his loadout from a Destiny API. So let's see, um, truncated API result. Let's make an action and we'll say, um, it's going to be C sharp. Okay, AI result. Okay. How do I do that in C sharp? I know it's go check out the C sharp methods in Streamerbot. Do 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 wrong window. Good stuff. Um It's called C sharp available method. C sharp available methods. Yeah. Do do do. Is it general? Get event, run action, play sound, execute method, set arguments. No. Um, fetch 
Oh, you know what? I can just do a fetch URL and then, yeah, I'll do it that way. I'll pass the variable. <laughs> that way it's a little bit more transparent what the code is doing. First actions, is that core? Network, fetch URL. So when he says, I'll set the variable name as <coughs> API result, camel case, of course. And then here I should be able to string API result equals args. API result dot to string dot substring zero two hundred just for starters and then I'm gonna compile it's gonna fail right now because I gotta check my other thing real quick what is the command for send message to YouTube CPH send YouTube message. Easy. CPH send YouTube message. API result. Let's just do this first and then we'll say equals API result substring. Okay, so and then let's make a command for that. Destiny API, he can make whatever command he wants. He, he knows enough to do that stuff. He just doesn't know the C-sharp stuff, so I'm helping him out. This is as a support request through the streamer bot Discord, basically. Um, but he also pinged me directly because he's part of my community. Um, truncated API result, sure. I'm um, going to make it so that only I can use this command just for now. Let's see what happens. It seems to have run. Action history. Nope, didn't do anything. Destiny AP commands. Anything? No? Nothing? All right, just take a look at the logs, I suppose. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Stream about for YouTube logs. Well, I think they added a uh, direct link to the logs somewhere in the UI as well, but. Artificially updated presence. No. Nope. Playing with viewers, it didn't actually run it. Hmm. Running default entry point from instance. Playing with viewers, playing. Okay. It didn't actually do anything. Let's see. Did I spell it wrong? Enabled. A truncated API. What, um, anything? <clears throat> now I'm like, what is going on? Nothing happened. Nothing happened. First words happened. He turb service. This command just didn't work at all. Oh, you know what? Commands. YouTube message. Eh. Whoopsie. Say. See? I'm learning. <laughs> and 
and then we'll see what happens. Did it actually run? Action keys, action history completed. Okay. Queuing initiated, default initiated, creating and compiling. There was an error running the instance. Index and length must refer to a location within the string. Eh. Oh. It's because I need a little bit of logic there. I gotta do that same thing. If API result dot length is greater than or equal to 200, then API result equals the substring. I'll save and then try it again. <clears throat> hey, all right. So, and then he also wanted to truncate off that at system part. So, one, two, how many characters is that? Prints out as system. Let's go right here. So how many characters is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in a space. That's nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in a space. So, so. Fetch string from API. Result trim off at where'd it go? <clears throat> off the system thing at system. Space. I think that's this other request. I put the result in the variable and send it as YouTube message. Sometimes data is longer than 200 character limit. Is there a way to fetch only 200 characters or limit the YouTube message? The website starts every data with system. Is there a way to delete, hide this part in the YouTube message? Okay. That is pretty much it. Where did that doc go? Oh, there it is. So. String API result equals APS. API result dot substring. I'm going to start at character nine. Can I just do that? Is that syntax a local variable or function named API? Oh, I don't need to say string. I just want to say zing. Okay. Try that again. So it should say start with 360 game TV. Touch save. Nice. There it is. All right. We are done. While I'm here, I wonder if there should be some. Yeah. Uh, this was all done basically on a little lunch break thing. So I'm not going to stay very long. But um, like I said before, I can only test this stuff while I'm live, or at least while I have an active broadcast. So I figure when I do this and I'm making streamer by YouTube stuff, I will just do it live. Um, and that's fun. Does my question of the day thing work? Like, should I? I'm slowly trying to move some of my other. Yeah, what's your favorite cheese? Let me move one or two of my other commands over while I'm here. Uh, each time I do this, I am trying to like slowly move some of my Twitch streamer bot stuff into my YouTube streamer bot so that I have some things, but I'm trying to think if there's anything super basic I can do. Um,
Let's see. So I might, I'll just do one of my really basic chat actions. Let's see. Let's move over eight ball. So we'll export commands eight ball. Board. Okay. Here we will import eight ball commands. I think it needs the other one too. Where to go? Q eight ball answers. <clears throat> okay. Commands, 8-Ball, switch that to be a YouTube message. Fine. Actions, 8-Ball. Um, and then it was, what was it for sending a YouTube message? See, I don't even... CPH send YouTube message. It's pretty obvious. And then these all need to be turned into YouTube messages. CPH send YouTube message. Like that. Well, so if I do 8-ball, it'll yell at me for not having asked a question. Or it'll fail entirely. <clears throat> Does raw input not exist? Hmm. Let's check the old log. Artificially updated. Ball, YouTube message. User permissions. Anyone? Okay. Exclamation ball. Why you no work? Turn the cool down off because I don't care right now. Bot account, no, nothing. Food enabled. Action key. It did not try to run it. What is the problem? Oh, you know what? When you import commands, they're not enabled. Doit. There we go. Action 8 ball answers. Change these all to. Does slash me do anything in YouTube? Does that command work? So these are all going to have to just like action, Twitch, no, action, YouTube, send a message. So I just have to slowly move these over. Okay, delete. Let's see, duplicate. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 14, 14, oh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And then I can just start copying these out without doubt. Yes, definitely. You may rely on it. I see it. Yes. Do do do. Most likely, lowercase l, delete, that look good. <laughs> Just a straight up yes, short and simple. Science point, yes, these are all affirmative. And then we got the hell yes. I don't think YouTube considers the word hell a swear, but uh, I don't know. We got to be a little bit more careful here than we are on Twitch. Reply hazy. Try again. Let's just actually do copy and paste. Might be very slightly faster than typing, though not a lot. It is decidedly so. Better not tell you now. Cannot predict now. I like the Magic 8 Ball answers that are like, wow. Very doubtful. Now it's like, not totally no, but basically no. Undoubtedly so. Most of these are pretty positive, honestly. Concentrate and ask again. It is certain. Outlook, not so good. I think I need one or two more duplicates. My sources say no. Did I keep one of the is it is decidedly so ones? I did not. Oh, it's up at the top. My reply is no. One more. Duplicate. Don't count on it. Okay, and then this works because this base action just randomly uses, so instead of all of these running in order, it just randomly picks one of these sub actions. So, should work now. Eight, eight ball. Should I get back to work now? Should go back to my regular work. Yes, definitely. All right, that works. Thank you, everybody. Uh, I will do this again next time I have more YouTube stuff to update. It's fun. I got a new scene for it and everything. Works great. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.